Welcome to BISP Solutions. I am Anjali and today we are going to discuss how to calculate the compensation in workforce module of EPBCS. You can also refer my previous videos for workforce module configuration. So this is a template which I have prepared and written all the steps here. How to calculate the compensation. First, we set the assumptions, then we add the salary default, then we add earnings, benefits and taxes default, then we add the hiring requisition. Next is calculate the compensation, synchronize default and also component definition synchronization. Then we associate the requisition with the existing employee. Next, we can also provide for non-compensation expenses as well. Let's go to our application. So from applications, we'll click on configure. And we set the assumptions for benefits and taxes from here. I have three benefits here, RSSB medical allowance, staff provident fund, and RSSB maternity leave fund. In additional earnings, I have travel allowance, accommodation allowance, responsibility allowance. Let's check for travel allowance. For travel allowance, I have selected component type as simple. We can also use rate table and custom and also rate table and threshold. I've given as simple. Payment terms as monthly fiscal year, value type as flat amount, maximum value type also as flat amount, threshold as monthly, taxable component. Yes, I want it as a taxable component and I want it to be added to the cross pay. Click on next after saving the information. Provide for the amount. Save. Click on next. And here we can see the amount for travel allowance. Same process is for rest of the elements as well. And for taxes also, the same process. I've given here two taxes, federal tax and payroll tax. Federal tax uh, component type as simple, payment terms as monthly fiscal year, value type as percentage of taxable earnings, maximum value type as percentage of taxable earnings, threshold scope monthly, I have given here 2.5% of the taxable compensation. Okay. So just close this tab. Next, I have provided salary grades here. For finance US, I have set all the grades grade one, grade two, grade three, grade five, grade, no grade as our basis, rate is 40, grade one annual, grade two weekly, grade three monthly, grade four as quarterly and next hourly. You can save this information and close this tab. Next, set the workforce assumptions. I've given here as eight hours per day, 40 hours per week, and 22 days per month. Payment, uh, partial payment factor as 100%. Save this information. Close this. So this is how we can give the assumptions. We can also provide for merit rates here. So let's calculate the compensation. We'll go to workforce. Click on compensation planning. The first step we do is we'll go to default tab and add here for whichever job we want a requisition. We'll add here and we'll also provide for the grade type. I've also I've already given here for accountant, accounting director, accounting manager, analyst, and designer. I've given here additional earnings for the required jobs. 
the benefits which i want to give for the job and also the taxes all right so once we are done with this step we'll move towards manage employees tab so how do we add the requisition we right click here we click on add requisition we provide here all the details for example i have given here fte as one number of requisition i just want one for this particular job okay employee type as regular contractor or temporary i have given regular then we click on next we give the start year start month we provide the job type the union code and salary salary options then we launch this so this is how i have added all the requisitions next is we calculate the compensation so how to calculate we right click on the job and click on calculate compensation same way for we synchronize default and then we synchronize the component definition all right next step is associating the hiring requisition with the existing employee the option is not coming just wait for a second we click here and see this is the option associate employee we can associate the employee with the existing one from here we can select the employees after selecting we click on launch and close the tab so i have already added here five job profiles let's check for analyst so for analyst i have set the grade as grade 5 let's open this in smart view and validate the figures so i provided grade 5 as the rate as 30 and since this is our basis number of weeks uh, this is this is the rate okay number of weeks in a year are 52 and hours per week are 40 which i showed you in assumptions So thirty multiplied by fifty-two multiplied by forty comes to sixty-two thousand four hundred. For accommodation allowance, I entered the flat amount. For staff provident fund, I also showed you, and for federal tax, I also showed you the type which I chose. Let's check. we'll go to home page application configuration we'll go to benefits and taxes so for accommodation allowance i'm going to click on additional earnings apply i'll just show you the amount which i entered for this so i gave this amount which we can see here 
for staff provident fund i'll or i'll show you we'll go to benefits so this is 0.33% of the basic salary which is getting calculated and federal tax i have given 2.5% of the taxable compensation okay so this also gets validated so this is how we calculate compensation we can also provide for non compensation expenses for that we'll go to workforce compensation planning other expenses so i will give for analyst compensation expenses as to 2000 20000 for 3 months save this information and we are going to run the business rule both of them so now let's check this in a uh, in the summary see for accounted i gave 30000 as the training amount 90000 for accounting director 60000 for accounting manager and analyst 60000 and which sums up to 240000 total non compensation expenses we can also check for these were for non compensation expenses we can also check for the compensation expenses so here we can see from the graph all the figures which which we entered okay so we can see all the regular ft here the graph so this is how we calculate the workforce compensation expenses in workforce module of epbcs thank you and have a great day